Here's the rig, ready for its first adventure. We're heading north. When we left home, we had planned to head up the coast to um, our destination. But as we were driving along the M7, we suddenly were overtaken by a desire to chuck a left and head up to the Blue Mountains. Couldn't have found a hillier way to travel. We're just passing through Blackheath on the opposite direction to everybody heading back. Boy, I'm glad we're heading in the other direction. Not oh, prepared to stop it, says. I think the other guys need to read that. Boys like Mount Victoria. We're about to right on Great Western Highway. descend Mount Victoria Pass now. Somewhere along this bit coming back up that Della lost her brakes, her gears and her gears and had to get out as the car started rolling backwards and chucked her briefcase full of examination papers under the wheel. I was in the little dicky seat of the Oakland. Which, uh, <laughs> I don't quite know how we got out of that one. And that's one vivid memory still. Same as the Verimacourt house. Yeah. Probably built from the same period. Probably much the same too. Yeah. This is the little hamlet, maybe village, of Capiti. There's a historic pub, which is open. To the White Horse, 1850. Capacity Royal Hotel and a defunct petrol station. 82 to Munchie. Right, we're approaching the village of Ilford now. I'm sure there's nothing left of it. No. Come over a hill from Ilford and look at this lovely sweeping view we've got. We set up camp that night at the lovely showground in Golgong. It was a very good camping spot. I am now. We're just doing a little preview of Golgong, our new home for a few days. A ten dollar hotel, motel, motel, motel. Uh, Main Street. Oh, it's a bit sunny. The car coming? Yep. I can't see no. It's not terribly busy in Main Street, but um, right here we go. Larson's. Bands beware. Yes. <laughs> uh, you've still got your mirrors out too. Um, the butcher. The dentist. We don't want. Gaogong Dispensary. Now, which one's this one? The commercial? We've been told we need to go to the post office or the Prince of Wales. And the post office is opposite the post office, which could be up one of these streets, but we'll do a circuit first. Um, that's Herbert Street. No, that's the shop. Um, that's probably the one we're heading for. That's the one we want, the one opposite the post office. Right, okay. I love it. Keep your mirrors in, darling. Don't forget they're right out at the moment. I've gone the middle That's the Prince of Wales. That's the other option. See the man up on the roof? Yeah. Isn't that gorgeous? I'll have to do a little walk around tomorrow and take some photos. Yeah. So, we might do a bit of a pub crawl. Thai, Golgong. <laughs> That's closed. Um, right, if we chuck a right up Red Hill, which is one of the original gold mining hills. And there, they found gold on Red Hill. It was one of the first early finds. We're going around to the Prince of Wales, no? Yeah, you want to go to Red Hill? No, I just said that's... No, I don't, particularly. Uh, Alright, we're having a, a look around. There's the um, gold 
What do you call those things? I've forgotten. My brain's dead. I need a beer. <laughs> this is the gold gone experience. Okay. The gold gone gold experience. <sighs> I really do feel my genetic. Your roots. That's new. That that wasn't here the last time I came. I do. I really do. I know that. I come from here, kind of, sort of. So your mother was teaching here, didn't you? No, she, my mother was teaching at Mudgee. Oh, father no, was living here, apparently. My, my father was living um, on a property out of Golgong. Somewhere near. Yeah, yeah Spring yeah, Ridge. But um, no, my, my father's father was born here on London Lead. No, Lon not London Lead. My father was born on London Lead, which is the parks. Oh, look at this lovely old house. Looks like the post office pub might be closed. Oh, there might be people in there. No, can't tell. AJS Bank. Australian Joint Stop, Stop Bank. Bank. We're going to have to walk around tomorrow and take proper photos. We're park near the Prince of Wales after all. And the post office is there, opposite the post office pub. How amazing is that? The bakery. Back into Main Street, M A Y L Street. Park around the back there, uh, maybe. Well, just More do down. another run. You never know. You like in a big city and a small city. You can park right there. If you... No, you can't. I'm gonna park down there. All right. Yep. 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 There's Davy's Butchery. Oh, I wonder where Davy's gone. Davy's Butchery. Hmm. Right. We called into the lovely old Prince of Wales Hotel to have a look around and share a pre dinner drink with some of the locals. And then we continued around to the Post Office Hotel, which had been recommended to us as a good place to dine. <laughs> Hard to beat a good pub, bangers and mash meal. The next day we set out to explore Galgong on foot. Our first stop was at the Henry Lawson Museum. Two hours later we've left the Henry Lawson Centre. It took a bit of looking, it was very, very interesting. Come with us for an amble around town. It's such a beautiful old place. $10 motel. It's called such because it was on the original $10 note. Along with Lawson, both are not on the new $10 note. Pioneers Museum, Suntong Lee Sydney Branch Store, and Wa Lum General Store. And that's been around a while. We're browsing through the enormous and amazing Gulgong Heritage Pioneer Museum. 
and we found our first Austin. Of course, you've got to take photos of Austins when you see them. We're not quite sure of what the little green truck is on the right. It's unnamed, but it looks wonderful. I'd love to do a trip in that, in my dreams, probably. I'll just do a little whiz around where I am. This is a garage. That's a garage. Um, that's a police exhibit, sweet shop, bank and barber shop. How about that? And uh, down the back, there's a little stone cottage, which was the Cobb and Co Inn. And there's a Cobb and Co coach around the corner, but golly gosh, it's a bit overwhelming. This coach was licensed to carry 11 passengers. I can't imagine where they all fitted. This oak chair originally belonged to Sir Henry Parks. What's there? Oh, <laughs> a cement mixer. Yeah. Got a happy man now. He can mix cement. <laughs> it doesn't give him nightmares. It brings back happy memories. Our Golgong Amble up at the Golgong Gold Experience on Red Hill. They had some fantastic photos of what it was like in the old days when gold was being discovered. We've come up to the top of Flirtation Hill now, looking down on the town of Golgong.